the a community. The piece of land they found was so barren and dry that it was incapable of supporting any agriculture. At that time, Rabwa was absolutely barren. There was no water, electricity or gas. There was nothing. Because of the sand and crystallized salt, it was difficult to walk on the land. There was one thorny tree and a broken bench at the side. On that bench, the words Anjuman Khuddamul Islam Chiniot was written. Locals as well as agricultural experts insisted that the soil at this location could not support any vegetation. Plants could not be grown and sustaining any shady trees would therefore be impossible. They argued that it was therefore totally unsuitable for the needs of the community. Having heard these opinions, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II decided to visit the location himself. So in the company of a few people, he traveled to the area and inspected it in detail. That evening he returned to Lahore and announced that the land should be bought immediately. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II appointed Nawab Muhammad Din to begin the process of acquiring the land. And so the new headquarters were born. After paying the designated price, the Jamaat acquired the site which constituted 1034 acres. And so the beginning of the new headquarters was born. Upon receiving permission from the government, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II immediately appointed a committee to start planning the settlement of the new headquarters. For the official inauguration of Rabwa, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II left Lahore on September 20th, 1948 by car. After crossing the Chenab Bridge, Hazur along with his companions got out of their vehicles, turned towards the Kaaba and prayed. <laughs> Hazur repeated this prayer many times with much feeling and emotions, then got back into his car and continued to the inauguration. The inauguration took place at the location which is now enclosed by the Fazle Umar Hospital. Contrary to other worldly inaugurations, this was humble and full of emotion and prayer. Hazrat Muslim Maud recited that prayer of Hazrat Abraham, which he had recited at the construction of the Kaaba. After the inauguration, the construction work and settlement effort began. At first, tents were erected for temporary living quarters and office use. After this, temporary buildings were constructed, followed by permanent ones, according to the planning map. The lack of water resources initially presented a major challenge. Experts considered the natural underground reserves unsuitable for human consumption and agriculture. But Hazrat Muslimaud directed that efforts should continue. And then, as had been indicated by an earlier vision of Hazur's, these reserves steadily underwent a miraculous change and became a usable source of fresh water. Once the construction work had begun, people started coming in droves to settle here. Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II divided Rabwa into seven neighborhoods and assigned names to each one. 
Similarly, he named various streets. Thus, the bases of the town of Rabba had been laid. Rabba, which began as tents and adobe structures in 1948, was continuously blessed by the presence of the successors of the promised Messiah. Rabba strode forward rapidly, and before long, the attention of the world turned towards it. It acquired international attention as the headquarters of the Ahmadiyya community. The temporary buildings of old were replaced by some of the best modern structures. Today, Rabba is ranked among the best cities in Pakistan. This city, which had its foundation laid with the prayers of Abraham, is the recipient of constant rewards and blessings. Each sunrise on this extraordinary city brings with it a new dawn of advancements. Like the glorious Kaaba, Rabba stands as a blessed monument, a beacon of Islam radiating its beauty throughout the world. Rabba is located midway on the road between Fasabad and Sargoda. On the banks of the Chenab River, this beautiful city is home to about 40,000 people. It would not be inappropriate to call Rabba the city of mosques, for it has more than 60 mosques, the largest and most stunning of which is Rabba Central Mosque, Masjid Aqsa. The beautiful Yadgar Mosque marks the place where Hazrat Khalifatul Masih II led the first congregational prayers on September 20th, 1948. In order of construction, the first mosque is Masjid Mubarak, the foundation of which was laid on October 3rd, 1949.